Brought to you by Sunbeam, the best electric appliances made. The deluxe Sunbeam Mixmaster Food Mixer and Sunbeam Time. New slimline beauty and new dimensions in time for every room in your home. Now, let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a gentleman who has been interviewing children for 15 long, fruitful years has come up with a book called The Secret World of Kids, and he knows about them, Mr. Linkletter. My pleasure to introduce that charming columnist, radio broadcaster, mother of three, and one who has such a sense of inquiry she should be working for the FBI, Dorothy Kilgallen. She is. Thank you. And now our publisher and columnist panelist, who also really does work for the FBI, Bennett Thurf. Here's our impeccable, if sometimes rather arbitrary, panel moderator, John Charles Daly. You cut me to the quick. I'm not really arbitrary, am I, Bennett? Oh, heavens. <laughs> all the time, you mean? Well, just to show you that my heart is full of good wish to all of you, put your masks on. Ha! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's My Line. Needless to say, the fact that the masks have to go on now promises uh, some early excitement tonight. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before our panel a little bit later in the show, and we'll meet our first challenger after this. Blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes John. Yes. All right. Will our first contestant come in and sign in, please? Home. Is that right? Thank you. Would you sit down here? You familiar with the way we keep score on what's mine? You are. In that event, then, we'll just let the folks at home and those who have been good enough to join us in the theater and the audience tonight know exactly what your line is. panel, as you doubtless are well aware, there is an area of identification here having to do with the style of handwriting or the confirmation of our guest, which might have given you a clue we don't want you to have. We did, however, give you his name, which should tell you a great deal, and we will add to that that our guest is salaried, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Sir. You say you gave us the gentleman's name? I didn't hear it, John. Didn't you? No. Did oh, you? well, you should listen. Did you... <laughs> I don't want to be arbitrary, Bennett. All right. So his name is Mr. Holm, H-O-L-M. Mr. Holm. Mr. Holm, Holm, Mr. Holm, uh, would any of us recognize you at sight if we were not wearing our masks? Yes. Would this be because we had seen your picture in the paper recently? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Would we recognize you because of some uh, distinguishing garb of some kind? Yes. Is it, uh, uh, would it be called a uniform? Yes. Do you have anything to do with a government? Yes. It is, a, is it a government other than the United States government? Yes. Well, um, are you in America on some sort of goodwill uh, arrangement? No. Two down to date to go, Mr. Linkletter. Are you here to um, have anything to do with our government? 
No. That would Three be down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, I believe Arlene established that you wear a distinctive garb. Uh, is this when you are doing what it is that we're supposed to be guessing? Yes. Do you wear some color other than black? Yes. Uh, do you... Are you a citizen, uh, or I don't know whether the word is subject or citizen, or do you live in a country on the North American continent? Yes. Are you Canadian? Yes. Do you have anything to do with horses? No. Well, now, Dorothy, just before we go any further here, do you include in this question the general uh, possibility that our guest might like to go horseback riding? <laughs> Well, John, in all fairness, I didn't really mean as a hobby. I meant that would we in any way be likely to associate him with horses? Yes. Uh, are you a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police? Yes. Uh, are you the head of the group or a member of the group that appeared at Madison Square Garden last week? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> that was one but you are connected with the Canadian Northwest Mounted Police, Mr. Hunt. Yes. Are you one of the people who is in charge of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police? That is, have you got an executive position with the troop? Yes. Are you the head of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Uh, heavens, are you the captain of the team? <laughs> No. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Mr. Linkletter. Are you a retired member of the Northwest Mounted Police? <laughs> no. Seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Now, you did say that you were not a member of the group that appeared at Madison Square Garden. Is that correct? Correct, yes. Uh, were you in Madison Square Garden at any time watching them perform? No. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Have you, Mr. Holm, got anything to do with the horses that are used by the Royal Northwest Mounted Police? No. Nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. Did you get your man? <laughs> yes, but you can... <laughs> well, that's ten down and no more to go. We'll, we'll throw the last card over, because actually I must give the panel credit. They did determine that our guest was with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. He is an inspector, which I thought perhaps would come to your um, minds because it was a British police organization. And if I just left those horses alone, John. It should have been fine. Actually, you are the top operating officer of the Mounted. Now, chief inspector or? I'm an inspector in the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I am presently stationed in Ottawa on the commissioner's staff as liaison officer. Well, you look just beautiful. Why don't they dress our boys like that? <laughs> And by the way, Inspector Holm, I'm glad we got all these turned over because Inspector Holm said that uh, he wouldn't consider for a moment, even though ours is a scoring device rather than a prize, but anything that in the score accrued to his interest was to be given to care. So will note be taken that this is to go to care, all of it. One question, John, mm -hmm. before Inspector Holm leaves. How far are you from being the head of it? How many are above you, Inspector? Well, quite a large number. The commissioner uh, is the head of the force. There's only one commissioner. There are two deputies and quite a, a number of well, assistant commissioners. I hope commissioners. you make it. <laughs> Give we our hope regards you make it. to Nelson I shall Eddie. never see the day. <laughs> huh? Give our regards to Nelson Eddy, will you, when you see him? <laughs> Inspector, thank you very much. That's the heavy hitter. Now that the inspector's not here and we can't embarrass them, I think it goes without saying that uh, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police are recognized as one of the finest group of men in the long history, not only of the development of our own continent, but in all the history of uh, what are really paramilitary police forces. It's a great outfit and a fine panel. And we'll get back to zero now and give them some trouble. Will our next challenger please come in and sign in? Beirut. Uh, 
Say it, John. Smith. Peru, <laughs> Matza Zinska. That's right. Matza Zinska. Yes. How nice to have you with us. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss well, Matza Zinska, yes. where are you from? Originally, I am from Lithuania, but now I live in Brooklyn. Ah. <laughs> How fortunate Brooklyn is, may I say. Miss Matzinska, our panel. Panel, Miss, will you come join me over here, please? Tell me, do you know how we keep score? Yes. In that event, we'll let the folks here in the audience and those looking in at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, we will tell you that Miss Matzinska is salaried, and we'll begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Uh, Miss Matzinska. Hello. Are you uh, uh, associated in any way with a product? Yes. A useful product? Yes. A product I might use? Yes. A product I might buy somebody for Christmas? Yes. One might call it decorative then as well as useful? Mm -hmm. I would say, with your permission, that I'm going to give you a no, because we could not certainly hold in any term of reference that the intent was to use it decoratively. You said with my permission. Wait I don't give you minute. my permission. I just thought of something. You get a yes. Oh, he's just painted it bright blue, whatever it is. <laughs> is it anything that uh, might be uh, worn upon the person? Worn upon the person? No. no. One down and nine to go, Mr. Linklater. Is this an expensive item? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, is this anything that is consumed eventually? Yes. Um, may I assume that it is not eaten, however? Yes. May you assume that it is not eaten, however? No. 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 Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. In other words, it is eaten, Miss Byrne. Yes. May I call you Miss Byrou? The other's a little yes. too hard. Uh, is it eaten at, can it be eaten at any meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? No. Well, now wait a minute. This is difficult because with your permission, Miss Metzogins, because Mr. Surf said, can it be eaten at any meal? And I think we would agree that it could be. Hmm? Depends on what time you get up. And then it's the kind who would, you know. <laughs> Well, you go ahead, Bennett. Uh, I feel I'm being led down some kind of a path. Uh, if you used it at the time that it usually is used, might it be at dinner time rather than breakfast or lunch? No. no. I think we can give you a no on that. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Oh, then is it more ordinarily eaten uh, when one gets up in the morning? No. Five dollars, five to go, Mr. Lincoln. You don't eat it at lunch or dinner, and you don't eat it at breakfast? Do I, am I correct? We haven't ruled out lunch. There was no call oh. for a conference. So it's sorry. Call for it's rather. It's you. You are. I know it's me. <laughs> Is it tasty? Yes. Is it uh, more on the uh, dessert line than the entree line? Yes. Is it uh, cold? Yes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Miss Matrzinskis makes a point now, I think, after we've discussed this issue, that uh, since cold, as you used it, we consider had a reference to something less than normal room temperature, you'd get a no. Thank you no, very I much. No, I didn't mean it. Six down and four to go. <laughs> Just two down. That's what I mean, I know, I know. <laughs> They're against us. Uh, Miss Marchinkus, I hope I got that almost right. Uh, is this ever eaten by animals? No. <laughs> well... <laughs> This is not to say, Dorothy, that it'd be completely fair that it couldn't be, but it just it isn't normal for animals. Let's put it that way. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Miss Byrute, would this food be 
associated with any particular nationality? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. If you don't eat it for breakfast and you don't eat it for dinner, could you drink it? No. <laughs> Nine down and one to go, Mr. Linkletter. It could be eaten by animals or Bennett Surf, you say. <laughs> So far, and it, it's not cold, but it's obviously not hot either because of that conference, right? It's right. not hot. That's right. Yes. Do you use any particular utensil besides your fingers with it? Mm -hmm. Knife and fork? No. With no. Finger. Spoon? Hmm? No. no. Pincers? Just no. with your fingers. Pickles, too. Oh, so you don't eat no. too. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> Shall we get him, uh, get him out of his misery right away? Ten down and no more to go. Before you go to bed. What is it? Makes lollipops. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, you see, that's funny, because Art, you started along there when you said, is it tasty, I thought you would move on to perhaps candy. Once you've gotten into candy, Never did. Eat. I was moving toward dessert, but lollipops... Is that kind of American lollipops? Oh, no, I had them in South Africa as a boy. Did you? Well, that no. accounts for everything, John. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Matsuzinskis has that dream job, and I think she's still beautiful and young and probably yeah. enjoys it. She's at the end of the line. It's with the Barton Candy Company. That's right. And all these lollipops come out, and she can just take one lollipop after another out of the machine, and, well, a few she packs, but the rest to eat. Is that right? Or is it the... Half and half. Half and half. Good for you. Thank you very much for being our guest. It was nice to have you on What's My Life. Thank you. And now we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment. But first, here is a message from our sponsor. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I have to ask my friends on the panel once again to blindfold themselves. And the blindfolds are all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And we begin it all with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you a star of motion pictures? Yes. Mr. Sir. Uh, are you in New York because a picture in which you appear is either just opened or about to open in New York? Uh, not entirely, no. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Uh, are you also in the theater? Mm, yes. It's you now. Oh, are are you of are you of foreign extraction? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where did everybody go? <laughs> <laughs> Two down a day to go, Miss Gilgallon. That what, what must have ruined that? your throat. What, what was that, John? Big pardon? Was that a yes or a no? No, that was a no. Oh. Uh, are you blonde? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Three down and seven did to go, Mr. Did you say Sarah. that, John, or did our guest? Big pardon? Did you say that or did our guest? Our guest. Yes. Are there more than one of you? Our guest consists of more than one person? Yes, I think so. Miss Francis? Uh, do you appear as a team or in marriage or in theater, pictures? Mm, quite possibly, yes. Mr. Linkletter? Does your most recent picture appear currently on the screen here in New York or across the country? Yes and no. Yeah, oh, that's, oh, a, that's an omnibus. Let us say that it would be uh, about and in prominent places to be seen, Ms. Kilgallen. Uh, are you currently appearing in a New York hotel as a supper club act? 
<laughs> no. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Are you married to each other? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, Miss Francis. Uh, is the uh, is the male part of the duo appearing in the theater at the present time? Mm, yes. Mr. Linkletter? Have you appeared in Las Vegas publicly? <laughs> That's the only way to appear. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll rephrase no. that question. <laughs> they went through there once, sealed up in a boxcar. Would that help? <laughs> That's no, makes it five down and five I mean, to go. I mean, paid. paid yeah, no, the answer is no to that, uh, uh, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, is the wife of the team brunette? Brunette? No. That's uh, six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Is the play in which the male member of the team appearing a musical? Mm, no. That's seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Is the play that the man is in one of the big hits on Broadway a serious play? And are you both soon going to Israel because the man in the play is going to go from that to Exodus? No, because she's blind. Yes. It isn't. It's Joanne Woodward, Woodward, isn't it? And Paul Newman? What was, what was These the things problem? switch, you know. <laughs> I saw Miss Woodward in the beauty parlor the other day, and she was very blonde. She, she is she very blonde. blonde. She I thought I got blonde. a no. Now we got a no. I apologize. You said, said am I You said it. So yes, the question. That was the second time around. No, I you thought, didn't. Okay. No, All I right. think you actually does. You must okay. have misspoken misspoke, yourself because you did say brunette. Because I took a quick look. No, oh, nah, you know, this is work I love, yeah, I must say. I'm oh, he up. said he wasn't a blonde. That's oh, yes. it. Oh, yeah. That must have been it. Yeah. Dirty work at the crossroads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever work they do is very good. I saw him in the Philadelphian, and he was great. Thank you. Mr. Newman, I think to get this clarified, Mr. Newman is starring on Broadway in Sweet Bird of Youth, which is indeed a serious play and one of the big hits of all time, I imagine, in this town. Yes. And I was in a play once. Lasted three days. The lovers. Yeah. Oh, I remembered. It. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> There's your good deed for this week, Miss Darling. I bet you get a kick out of having it remembered, even though you had bad luck no, with a play. No, no, no? you'd rather have forgot all about it? Oh, I don't know. I think if, if I was in a play and they kicked us out or chased us off the stage in the middle of the first act, I'd like to find somebody who even remembers that it was on, you know, just once. <gasps> Miss Miss Woodward was in one of the greatest pictures I ever saw, Three Faces of Eve. Oh, thank that you very much. That was a superb much. picture. Thank you. And... And one in a... Actually, you won an Academy Award for that. Yes. Correct? Yes, Doris. Oh, I have heard wonderful things about Miss Woodward's new picture, which isn't released yet, The Fugitive Kind. Is mm -hmm. that the name? Are you pleased mm -hmm. with that? Haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I reserve my opinion. You mean... When, when did you finish it? Now, this we is just interesting. just finished in August. You finished? Uh, September. Now, actually. when you say you haven't seen it, does this mean they haven't completed the editing? It's not finished yet. It's not mm -hmm. finished yet in that no. sense. Mm -hmm. When do you expect to see it? I don't like to see them until I'm in a theater with an audience and I can hide, you know, and just watch. So I probably won't see it till it opens in January, I think. But is it a safe assumption, then, that if you're a star in the making of a movie, it may be four, five, six months after the movie is completed before you ever see the whole thing together? The whole thing, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, John, you ought to ask them about their baby. They're very eloquent on that subject. Oh. <laughs> she ate a cigarette yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy note. Well, good luck to both of you, and thanks very much for being our guest. It's wonderful to have had you both on What's My And I trust baby's all right. Oh, she's fine. Doesn't bother me. about babies eating cigarettes, but I've had a few. They always get over that sort of thing. We'll be back after this word from our sponsor. And I must say, it's been nice to have you with us, Art Linkletter. Hope you'll be back again another one of these days. And soon, and good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Good night. 
Good night, John. Thank you, Art, and good luck. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night, Dorothy. Good night, Art. Good night, Bennett. Good luck with your book, Art. Good night, John. I was waiting for something. It didn't come. Good night, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line? Transportation for contestants on What's My Line is arranged by United Airlines. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Totten. This is Hal Sims speaking.